The last time I was riding on the roads of Denmark was actually 20 years ago. Funnily enough, in a race called the Tour of Denmark. I'm back in Denmark now, but on an Italian thoroughbred bike. I've never ever ridden a Bianchi before, and now I'm on one, and this is absolutely beautiful. Now this rather fancy Bianchi that I'm riding is the Ultra XR4. It's aerodynamic, it's light, it's stiff, basically does everything. And when you think about the type of riders in the World Tour that are riding this at the moment, Dylan Groenewegen winning bunch sprints, Primoz Roglic winning in the high mountains, you can tell that this really is a thoroughbred. I've even ridden it with Brian Holm, of course the very, very famous bike rider and a DS from Denmark. He rode it for a bit and didn't want to give it back. I think that says quite a lot, but no, it performs exceptionally well. It's very, very comfortable. Cornering, it's really light and agile, not twitchy at all. And more importantly, there's no lag at all. As you eagle-eyed people may have noticed, we've actually swapped out the wheels on this bike. We've put in some shiny new Mavic Cosmics. They're tubeless. I'm running 25 mil tires. If you take a closer look, there's quite a lot of clearance. So we've talked about the integrated bars and stem, which I really like actually. It takes a little bit of getting used to because it's totally flat, but once you get it dialed, it's actually very, very comfortable. And you don't get too much road noise coming through as well, which says a lot. A lot of integrated bars and stem these days, because there's hardly any flex at all, you do get a lot of road noise. But this, with, uh, coupled with, of course, the countervail technology, you get quite a lot of the road noise that is absorbed. They're exceptionally stiff as well as you expect from a one piece. So when you do put the power through, and I must admit, I can't put quite as much power through as when I used to, it's hardly any flex at all, if any. It really is stable. Nice width as well, all round comfort up front. Oh yes! Dylan Gronewegen, eat your heart out! The Ultra XR4 is a seriously stiff and aerodynamic road frame with a couple of really nice features as well. Now the main feature on the bike, apart from the beautiful colour way of course, is the countervail technology. Now this is a unique carbon composite material only available on Bianchi CV models. And what it does, well it actually dampens road vibrations to provide a far smoother ride. Now countervail is, this is the technical bit, a carbon composite material system that combines patented structural carbon with a veloestatic resin. Yes, that's a little bit of a mouthful. In other words, it's basically magic both stiff and compliant, and it cancels out 80% of vibrations while still increasing the stiffness and strength of the carbon frame and forks. The beauty of the countervail material is that, although it's extremely rigid, it's also exceptionally compliant as well. So the bike reacts the second you put any power through it, and I did that several times out on the road, sprints on climbs as well, jumping out of corners, and they didn't feel like there was any lag at all. Now it's a material that Bianchi claims to be proven in extreme conditions of NASA aerospace operations. NASA, and that means space. Now Bianchi have managed to combine a really racy geometry. I've got the stem pretty slammed there. It does feel very aggressive, but also they've got clearance of pretty wide tires as well, running 25 mil tubeless, Mavics on a quite a wide rim there, uh, and of course running tubers so I can run a slightly lower pressure for more grip and more comfort. The group set we've gone for in this model is pretty much the sweet spot of Shimano group set. It's DI2 Ultegra. Now basically it's pretty much, well I would say, exactly the same performance but at a far more lower price point. And the only penalty is a couple of hundred grams all the way across the group set. So exceptional value for money, 100% functionality compared to Dura Race. I love it. The bike itself goes without saying, it does look pretty neat. The colours 
also the unusual tubing shapes. And because everything's run internally, it looks really neat and exceptionally clean as well. And of course, we're running disc brakes too. And it's quite interesting, a lot of people don't like disc brakes on a more traditional frame. I think this actually works. And of course, unrivaled stopping power with those Ultegra disc brakes. Now the Vision Metron integrated bars and stem keep those pesky cables out of the way and out of the wind. And it looks neat too, and is super comfortable, especially when you factor in the fact we've got a 10 degree of sweep as well. So you can ride on the drops, on the hoods, and on the tops, and it just feels well, it feels very, very natural indeed. Very comfortable, but still very, very racy. Back to the 10 degrees of sweep again. This is intended to put you in a more relaxed position when climbing, opening your chest up for easier breathing, and then you sweep forward to the hoods for better aerodynamics on the flat or on the drops when descending. The Ultra can sprint, climb, and descend. And I can do well, maybe two of those. I certainly can't sprint very well. The bike can do that far better than me. But when you think about the riders that use this in the modern era. You've got Dylan Groenewegen sprinting on the Champs-Élysées to multiple stage wins in the Tour de France and elsewhere. Wout van Aert battling it out in the classics and then Primoz Roglic out climbing everybody to win the Vuelta. You can see why this bike really is a breed apart, even riding on the Danish bike lanes. Well, I must admit that was a lot of fun and that is what bike riding is all about. It's an iconic brand and that was a superb ride. So it's a real blend of I know, history and the present, real up-to-date technology using that bike, of course, a reference NASA, the countervail technology has been proven by NASA, it's used in out outer space. And there's a couple of really small little details that I really liked as well. You've got the Physique Arioni saddle there and the little cutaways we see in Physique saddles, of course, a little bit of Celeste in there as well. And the piece de resistance, although only a tiny thing, is actually the little quick release system they've got through the through axle. You pull a little silver doobry out, you turn it round and you spin it. It is a thing of pleasure and I've just been taking the wheel in and out all day long just for fun. Wonderful little touch. <laughs>